Welcome back to the video series UI Builder. And in the last videos, we learned about that how to play with the state and state parameters and how to stitch and get and set values of a state object. In this video, we're gonna see a breadcrumb, how to add a dynamic breadcrumb. So I have Milap with me to help me out on this one. So Milap, over to you. Yeah, so uh, this is, we are, we are trying to add the breadcrumb here, but the thing is we are gonna learn a concept of data broker. Uh, so basically in, in UI builder or in the new now experience, right? The beauty of this framework is uh, there are a lot of uh, data brokers created, uh, which we can use to fetch the data from the server. So you remember our old days of service portal where we used to write client record in the server side scripting. This will eliminate all of this and we'll see it right now. Uh, so for this particular video, uh, what we want to do is we want to bring the name of the catalog item, which will be, which will act as a caption for that label for that particular breadcrumb. So Akash, do you, can you create a new data broker there? Yeah. And just select lookup record from that. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so when you add a data broker, it asks you what table it is, this particular one. So it says, we can say catalog item here. Sometimes it behaves abruptly, so I just need to select it. And the record, we are going to take it from the props. So uh, from the URL, so you can say prop.society uh, and you should see a result there. Perfect. It means that we have configured it correctly. So save this one. Yep. And we need to uh, get this value. So I'll save this one. Display value. Yeah. Now let's add a breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. And here, so instead of specifying it, we have to have a dynamic data binding. Uh, I would say, okay, yeah, correct. Let's do that. Result dot name dot, dot display, display value. value. Save. So basically, uh, the reason why I was saying this cannot be used because it needs a JSON object, right? Uh, uh, and yes. that's how, you know, we have to construct it. So if you can just, uh, close this out, create new one. I just want to, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Edit, edit this. Yeah. See, you have to construct like this. So mm -hmm. we have to say where it should go to as well. For now, for this video, uh, we'll just, uh, build this kind of structure, uh, using a script. Yep. Right. So, uh, let's cancel this. So there are alternative ways. Okay. To do this, you can build using a state variable and then use it here, or you can directly build it here using a script. So just copy this. So we have it handy mm -hmm. and, uh, go back to the events. Oh, sorry. Go back to the items and you select the script there on the right side. No, no, no. On the right side of the config where we have these yes on, on the yeah. items. Okay. Here. No, no, no. On the, on the right hand side where you, oh yeah, perfect. So click on that or oh, you have a dynamic binding there, right? You create, you selected dynamic binding, select script. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. So here, uh, we'll get all those information from just the API dot. Just give me a sec return on top of this one. API yeah. dot context, uh, uh, not context, just a data. Mm-hmm dot lookup record one yeah dot, dot. Oh, oh what was that a name i mean it, it's not that great okay so this this is suggestion is not that great but uh i was was it display value yes display yeah. value yeah so now we have to return the json as it needs so copy the json what you uh put it here so i just put it in a let uh, let name and my json is this yeah. Uh, so you need to have the first portion as is, so you can just declare the JSON with the first, uh, link as is. Yeah. And remove all of this. I'll just copy this one to build our data. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Just keep hash for now. It just that we'll link it to the link again after. Mm, yeah. Okay. Or, or you can, what you can do is uh, you, you just put it there again, control Z. Into, yeah. yeah, and just add it here in the label API dot whatever underscore name. Name, yeah, yeah, correct, perfect. 
and uh, uh, actually I, f- I have put it in a hash that's fine and uh, return, return that breadcrumb. breadcrumb and why i always have its name incorrect let me correct this one okay so i'll can you can it. you can you okay that's okay i just wanted to say like format it i always like that it <laughs> <laughs> i can do that again yeah <laughs> go go down just to make sure everything it looks fine mm mm-hmm. yep everything looks uh, fine okay Let because it, uh, it should have been showing up so um worry as to why is it not showing up uh we might need need to look into this one if it is getting us the correct value yeah that's true so uh, definitely we have to see that uh yeah hold on a second we'll check that really quick uh let me see we'll look oh yes we forgot result result dot mm-hmm. yeah everything else looks fine yeah save it because it should yep. just show it here yeah perfect see we see it here yep. okay sounds good i guess we are done with this yep so this is a quick way that how we can do that another way is that we can have a another client script running from where we can hook it on state and we can use the states here but this is one quick way that this is better approach i would say because rather than creating a say, state variable this looks uh, yeah, yeah. playing with the state sometime uh, not good okay it sometime uh, not work correctly so better is that we have direct scripts hooked up here wherever possible so that's quickly that how we can uh, create a state how we can cu- quickly create the breadcrumb value coming directly from our table That's it for this video folks. Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.